and welcome back to my channel you already know who i am so there's no need for the introduction but anyways today i am going to be doing a elf haul um just going to be talking about some new products that i got and so forth i mean every time i turn around it's always something different coming out something that i might want to try something that looks pretty something i think that's gonna go flawless with my skin so yeah i'm back today you guys with another freaking makeup haul all right so if you want to see what i picked up this time from elf stay tuned this has nothing to do with elf i actually picked up the milani uh foundation plus concealer i see that youtube is going really crazy uh for these new foundations so i went ahead and i bought two of them um i'm going to give them a try I did notice that it says medium to full coverage is lightweight, oil-free formula. It's long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. So, being that I live in South Florida, a lot of times it is very hot. So, I definitely need these guys to come through. Um, I got the darker shade because I, I really wasn't too sure about which one that I was going to use. But I, I think I'm pushing more towards the chestnut shade. So once I go ahead and try these products out, I'll come back and let you guys know what I think about them. But yep, I definitely did. YouTube made me do it again. I'm really excited to put these on to see, you know, how everything pans out. So the second thing that I got is from Accessorize 365. They are located in Savannah, Georgia. They customize, they specialize in making customized necklaces and bracelets. And I know a lot of you girls out there are obsessed with these customized bracelets and necklaces because I know I definitely am. So what I got was these customized makeup artist bracelets. How cute are they? My favorite color is actually pink. So she incorporated some pink in there. But look at the charms, you guys. Like I have like makeup. I have a lipstick. Um, just a lot of cute girly makeup things. Once again, that is Accessorize365. Uh, you can follow them on Instagram and Facebook. I'll definitely put their information in the description box below. But I am really loving these um, customized bracelets. On this one, I have the, the paint. I have brushes. I mean, just a lot of nice, cute stuff. So, hello. Really not bad. You know, great shipping, great customer service. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into my e.l.f. stuff. So I picked up the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Primer Mist. This is a hydrating primer spray. It's supposed to help smooth your skin to get ready for the makeup application. So I really want to give this a try. Anything that's dealing with e.l.f. is really good. This is enriched with purified water, cucumber, vitamin B and E. And it says it leaves uh, your skin looking dewy and fresh. But if you are very oily, I suggest that you do not use this because you're already oily. You know, you don't need any dewy to go with the oil that you already have. So, I want to try it out. I think my skin is fine. I really don't have a problem with oil. I thought I did, but I don't. So, whatever. So, it just comes in this nice little bottle. A lot of the e.l.f. products kind of come in this bottle. The new of their skincare products comes in this bottle. So, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a try. Okay. Doesn't have a smell to it. So, hopefully I'll be using this in my next makeup tutorial. Once again, this was the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty uh, Primer Mist. And it's clear. The mist, the primer is just like a regular primer that you put on your face. Instead, this is not the actual silicone type stuff you rub on your face this is one that you actually spray on your face i also i also picked up the um the skin adjusting face primer this says that it's multi-purpose primer it preps the skin it fills in lines so that's the that's 
that's the main purpose of getting a primer you want something that's going to fill in your lines you want something that's going to make your foundation applicate when you put your foundation on it's going to go on smooth and it's going to also act as a barrier between your skin and the foundation so i'm going to give this a try um this is also it's also green um it's new it's called neutralizing green so it also helps neutralize redness from rosacea blemishes or dry skin so if you have any of that type of stuff going on i think you should give this a try once again you can find a lot of the elf products in target um if you can't get them in target which i doubt that you can always go to the elf website all right i mean very reasonable inexpensive product and they're really good for the price you can't beat that all right so the next thing that i picked up was some blushes i picked up some elf blush all right i picked up blushing rose i picked up mellow marv and i picked up berry mary i really thought these colors were really good for a woman of color um so that's the reason i picked them up gonna see if i can get in and show you guys what it looks like Ugh, it's like stuff so this one here is the berry mary and it looks something like this i just Feel like it'll go a lot better with my skin complexion than any of like the bright pink colors you know i think this is more these colors i got are more on the verge of the raisin by mac because i love that blush so i thought since these kind of you know not the same but kind of similar i decided to go ahead and get these so that was uh berry mary Oh, it's so hard to get into. This one is uh, Blushing Rose. Damn it, man. Damn it. And this one is Mellow Marv. And it just looks like, and it looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand so you can see what these guys look like. Um, maybe not, maybe not this Mellow Marv. It's, it, it's kind of looking like it's more of on the the pinkish side so let me get a brush maybe I can like brush it on or something oh uh -uh. I don't think um mellow marv is gonna be a good idea for me it's like kind of too light if you guys can see that very washed out i don't think that's going to be good for my skin complexion so i'm going to go ahead and swatch blushing rose now i'm really rooting for blushing rose to come through So you guys can see blushing rose these are not as pigmented as i thought they would be so i don't know i'm gonna have to give them a try and see usually elf product is really good and, and pigmented all right so last one which is uh mary berry I'm sorry, which is very merry. So I'm just gonna swatch this. Yeah, 
Yeah. But all three of them kind of look washed out. Hopefully they don't look like that when I apply them to my... When I apply them to the apples of my cheeks for my blush. So I'm definitely going to give these blushes a try. And if I do not like them, of course, you know, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you guys the rundown. I'm going to give y'all the 411. What's the 411? I'm going to give it to y'all about these blushes. All right. So I picked up the Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I just really think that this primer is going to be good for under eyes. It helps prevent concealer from settling into fine lines and wearing off. It's infused with vitamin C and E, shea butter, green tea, aloe. And it also says that it, it nourishes and conditions the skin. So I'm definitely going to give this a try. Forgot to mention when I was talking about the Milani foundations, I actually bought their blending brush. I mean, you can never have too many blending brushes. To help blend stuff out this was about eight dollars i think so yeah this is their blending brush very soft so yep i can't put it back in now so all right so this is the eye refresh okay it says cooling sensation of rollerball brightens and refreshes the eye area to help under eye puffiness and dark circles all right so this is infused with pomegranate rosemary green tea cucumber uh grape to hydrate and nourish the skin i'm telling y'all elfie they probably be having so much good stuff in it like green tea is wonderful cucumbers are great i mean rosemary pomegranate like this is gonna be tea honey this is gonna be tea Alright, so this is the Long Extending Mascara. I'm always looking for a mascara, especially for my lower lashes because they are so thin and the top ones are very thin. So, I'm always looking for a great mascara. So, I'm going to try this. Give it a try. And also, this says ingredient rich formula with vitamin B and E, wheat protein. So, I'm telling y'all, Elf be doing their thing with their products. Like, they really be doing their thing. So, shouts out to Elf. So it says rich curl for unlimited definition. So I'm all about definition, honey, especially when it comes to the lashes, boo boo. You hear me? Lashes, honey. So I did pick up the brightening eyeliner pencil. This was like a dollar and it comes with the pencil sharpener. I also got the lip kiss bomb. You know, it's always good to wear a lip balm, especially before you apply your lipstick or to prime your lips to get your lips ready for the lipsticks or whatever. Then here I got the smudge pot. This is in the shade uh, Poppin' Party. It's like a purplish color, so I guess I'll definitely be using this as a base for an eyeshadow. So I got these from e.l.f. Last but not least, e.l.f. has really been doing their thing when it comes out to their brushes. I mean, they have a new line of brushes out. So I definitely stepped out and I did purchase those brushes. Some of them were definitely on back order. So I did have to order maybe one or two from eBay. So those will be here any day. So I did pick up the e.l.f. Point Tip Foundation Brush. It's a taper brush that's going to give precision application for an even streak-free and flawless look. Alright, so it's perfect for concealing, highlighting, and contouring. Alright, and it's ideal for the use of liquid, cream, or powder foundation products. So that's a plus. I mean, that's a plus when you can use a brush in various different types of foundations. I picked it up. I'm talking about $6, I think. $6 is nothing. Especially when the quality of the product is really good. So, all right, moving on. This is the e.l.f. Selfie Ready Foundation Blurring Brush. All right. So, this says it distributes product evenly and busts foundation into the skin for a selfie, for a selfie ready effect. Let me tell y'all, we all ready to take a selfie sometime. So, I hope this comes through and it lives up to the name Selfie because Honey Boo Boo. I'm going to be trying this out. Like I said, um, this, it says that this is a soft tapered dome shape 
mimics the shape of the fingers to contour blend around the angles of the face for a seamless application of foundation concealer or any other cream liquid or powder products once again you can use this with foundations concealers cream liquid or powder products so I just hope it lives up to the selfie name this was about six dollars okay so this is the flawless face brush this soft brush lets you apply product with the lightest touch for a sheer natural effect the slight point fits nicely into the contours of your face for more precision precision placement bevel tip brush is perfect for multitasking i am down for anything that's de that's dealing with multitasking can't wait to try this out i'm obsessed with brushes i really feel like you can never have too many brushes like you just you can never have too many brushes the next brush i got is the elf sculpting face brush the contour and curved shape of this brush hugs the face to expertly sculpt and blend product contour cheekbones define the nose and help minimize the jawline so this is ideal with foundation but also works with a various of formulas including powders liquids and cream so i'm telling you guys elf is doing their thing with their brushes like you can use the brush in powders liquids and cream like a lot of times you can't even really do that with some of the brushes that we have but with these brushes you can do that so this is just what the sculpting face brush looks like so last but not least i have one more brush because i think my camera is dying oh yeah this is the elf ultimate blending brush it says the large dome shape headed and defiantly packaged bristles and contours of the face for seamless and even coverage so this is like a bomb brush um especially for blending elf has a lot of bomb stuff so you guys make sure you guys check out elf if you have already tested out any of these products comment in the comment box below and let me know what you think about it so i just want to say thank you so much you guys for tuning in today to see my second haul my elf haul accessory 65 and what i picked up from milani so make sure you guys comment thumbs up and subscribe and until my next video i'll definitely see you guys again bye hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all hold on hold on hold on i just got my other um brush that i ordered this is the elf selfie ready powder blurring brush it says this densely packaged brush shape distributes powder evenly and buffs it into the skin for a selfie ready effect idea for press or loose powders to create a thin veil or buildable coverage can also be used with any cream blush uh bronzers highlighters or foundations so make sure y'all check out elf i'm telling y'all they bomb okay bye